Okay, so what I have here is I'm going to take the math off. I'm going to give it a good clean because I need to actually clean the filter because I haven't cleaned the panel filter in ages. But uh, yeah, I'm swapping over to a pod filter. Um, so yeah, I'll probably have to remove the battery to get the actual box off because it's probably bolted in as well. So yeah, just spray some penetrant on the screws and now I'm just going to take the math sensor off. Yep, it just went dark because the light. Uh, but yeah, let me walk back into the light. So yeah, I'm just gonna give the math sensor a clean, may as well, and then um, try to take the box as fast as I can. So yeah, battery out, take these T bolts off, and then uh, yeah, see from there. Right, so as you guys can see, the battery is now out. It's quick 210 nuts. So yeah, now what we're gonna do is take the 10 more T-bolt off, uh, slide it out, and then there is two 10 mils and one on the front here, one on the back, and uh, yeah, that will let us be able to take off the whole bottom portion off. And then uh, I have the math adapter and the pod filter in the back, which I'll show you guys next. So yeah, pretty easy, but uh, you know, obviously, you don't want to like do it at night time like I am. Okay, so now here we go. It's uh, what I have here is math adapter. For from I got from AliExpress, thirty dollars shipped. Pod filter is a four inch with a twenty degree like a bend out. So that was eighty dollars from Redline Performance. I have link for both of these, um, even the panel filter. So yeah, that's the difference. So you can tell that is new and that is not new. So yeah, good at, good to clean these and then re-oil it. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on. Gonna see what configuration I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I may keep the original bottom half just so it's easier when I want to swap back. So yeah, just gonna see how I want to put this. So yeah. Alright boys, uh, I put everything back. I lost one of the math adapter screws, so fuck me. But here's the, listen to the machine. Oh. <laughs> I think she's a bit rich today, <laughs> fuck. So I roughly put everything back in. I started the car, sounds all good. I gave a few revs. Um, there was more noise, so yeah, I'll inc include some clips of that now. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish this and then uh, I'll do, I'll clean up that OEM, well not OEM, the panel filter. And then we'll do a comparison with the noise and uh, with some temperature differences. My idol is choppy as. Boys, look at how sick this is, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's all you hear, bro. It's just mud flaps. Oh my goodness, bro. Yeah, we're just out here retuning the car, just logging in right now on the stock, and then we go back and change the pop filter. So, yeah, this is the next update for you guys. Uh, I don't think that's how your car's meant to work, Alex. Okay, changing to the pod filter now. <laughs> Where's the other one? <laughs> Fucking here, G. It's all oh, good, yeah. bar. Oh. There's like no fucking space, bro. <laughs> Force it on, bro. Should be right.
you missing a school? Oh. Yeah, I missed one because I fucking dropped down my Mount Everest driveway, bro. Oh, shit. Where's your screwdriver? Here you go, G, my flathead. Mm. Nah, it's mm. enough. If you hold down the other side and tighten it, it's enough. Because it's got that O-ring to seal it. Dang. <laughs> At the tuna's house, G. Yeah. Yeah, boost sensor oh, is yeah. up there. I just never got around to cutting it. <laughs> Bro, what about this? Fuck this flathead for a fucking filter, man. Oh, you want to wait until Tom comes back? I need a Phillips. Do you seriously not have a filter? No. Not my car. Mm -hmm. Keys, use the keys. Filters in, eh? Tight, tight, tight. No, no, go, go to the back and you give it a listen, bro. It sounds weird as. Just wait, just wait. I don't know if it'll do it because it's warm, but when it's cold, it does it pretty bad. My camera just doesn't want to focus, eh? Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, pop filters on time to go for another cruise. Hey, yo, what the fuck car is that, G? Shop out. Oh, time to go to cruise. Oh, there's a commie. Yeah, sound like it. <laughs> oh. Oh, scrapage. You're already on 127 wastegate here. 127? Yeah. Oh, so I think it's... Um... Jesus. <laughs> Decent, oh, look at these hooligans, eh? Look at these guys. These fucking hoodies oh. and Ram Raiders. These are the Ram Raiders. No. <laughs> oh, Alex is getting it.
guys a cold start and uh, I'll let you guys know about the engine light. So yeah, so this is the day after. Just finished work and this is the cold start. Um, if you guys know, there was a little bit of chubbiness. Jeez, GTI, I think. But uh, yeah, uh, if you guys remember, when I put the pot on at first, it was a bit choppy, so now after Tom tuned it, it starts a bit better, but it does still chop a little, which we both know. Um, and we think it's just because the load um, and just the fueling. So that's why the engine light is on when I'm driving, is because I think the fueling for cruising and low speed is a bit off. But during mid to high, you know, pulling, which I'll put the clips in now when we were allegedly racing, um, there was actually no code. It was literally one minute before I went home, the light came on. So it is removable, but um, the code is a P0170, which is a fuel trimming bank one. So yeah, it's just not getting enough fuel. We were just cruising on the low speeds and uh, on the idle as well, but it's fixed more so, but um, still need to add a bit more fuel into a cold start because it still pops a little. Like it's a bit like an RX-7 chop, like that. <laughs> but it is a lot better, because before it would chop a lot more, but now it's actually all good. Also forgot to say, oh, it's pretty dark. Uh, when this car has five people in it, the back is squatting. It's literally almost tucking. So you're gonna put some new, well not new, but new to me, um, used version R rear shocks. Donated from Jamie. So yeah, you're gonna put those in. Should be easy, just a bolt on the bottom holding the rear axle beam and then the one on the top which is a very accessible from the top of the trunk so yeah, you're gonna change those out because the rears are really soft literally the mud flaps I'll have to show you guys when I have light it's literally like gone like it's just paper thin on the on the bottom now but yeah 